Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to be reviewing the brand new Pat McGrath Blitz Trance lipsticks. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on them, then just keep watching. For those of you who have been asking my tutorials with the Opulence Collection eyeshadow palettes, they're going to be coming up throughout the week, so just stay tuned for those. But for now, I'm going to be reviewing her brand new lipstick formula. So just the major facts about these guys. These are called the Blitch Trance lipsticks. They are $38 individually, which is absolutely crazy. You can also buy the whole set for $225, or they do have a couple duos out there that are $65. I personally wasn't interested in all of the colors in the line, so I did only pick up four shades, but I do think the four that I picked up were the most wearable, so I think that the shades I did pick up, you guys will very much appreciate. So according to the Pat McGrath website, it basically says this is a glittering lipstick, um, very iridescent, amplifies the lips with the hi-fi crystal flash glow of the ultra reflective pearls in the lipstick formula. It says it has a lot of pigmentation, multi-dimensional shine, and long staying power. So basically just a really glittery iridescent lipstick. So let's go into the packaging of these guys real quick. So, uh, I'm not gonna lie, the packaging was probably like 90% of the reason why I bought this product. These are guys that you're definitely going to want to display, but they come in the same regular Pat McGrath packaging, except of course it is so glittery, and it's not the glitter that's gonna fall off. It does have that layer over top that makes it very smooth, but I mean, these are just absolutely so beautiful and luxurious. And then it opens up like regular, and then of course you reveal the lipstick. So I'm going to quickly go over the shades I got before I get into the formulation. So here are the swatches. So the first one is Nude Romantique, then we have Flesh Fatale, then we have Rebel Red, and the last one on my arm is Club Kiss. And of course I did put them on my lips for you. So the first one that I have is Nude Romantique, which is a coral rose with a golden pink pearl. Really beautiful. This is a very good everyday wearable color. Really liked it and I think it's going to look really good on fair skin tones. The next shade is Flesh Fatale. I think this is probably the most wearable color in the bunch. And I also think it's going to be a very versatile nude on many skin tones. But this is described as a bronze rose with gold and pink pearl. It definitely is a bronzed gold, so I do agree with the description online. Again, I think this is the most wearable color of the whole collection. And the sparkles aren't too much, so it looks really nice. The third color that we have here is Rebel Red, which is a cool red with a copper pink pearl. I think of the four, this one definitely has the most almost duochrome and iridescent effect. This one definitely with has that cool pink pearl to it, which really makes the color look much more pink on your lips than the base color actually is. The base color is pretty red, but with that pink iridescence, it actually makes the color look a lot more pink, but it's really pretty. But if you're not into like a pinky red, you're not going to like that one. And the last one is Club Kiss, which is a magenta with a pink pearl. That is what's on my lips throughout this whole video. And I think it's absolutely beautiful. Going to be a real stunner for the holiday. All right, so let's get into the formulation of this new line. Honestly, pigmentation-wise, it really isn't the most pigmented lipstick, which I think is okay because it's buildable, and that's very important. You can get a sheer layer with a lot of glitter and shine, or you can really layer it up to get more of that base color. So that's what I really like. It does kind of advertise as a more pigmented lipstick. You can get it to that point, but it's very customizable, so it's not super pigmented until you layer it, but it does layer absolutely beautiful. It's not drying on my lips at all. Um, it does show a little bit of lines, but nothing too bad. Oh, and in the, the swatches don't do justice of how pretty the iridescents are on my lips. So beautiful. It's much more glittery in person. Now, it's not a super glittery finish. So you know how they had that whole metallic liquid lipstick trend that some brands are still trying to make happen? I personally was not a fan of that, but I feel like this is almost an understated metallic finish. So if you don't like the metallic lip trend like me, this is actually a really good substitute where it gives kind of that metallic finish, but it actually isn't very metallic. It gives that metallic effect without being too metallic and it's a lot more comfortable. I think it looks a lot more flattering on the lips because I feel like metallic lipsticks, they really emphasize my lines. This formula doesn't. This is honestly a beautiful, beautiful formula. So if you're not a fan of the metallic lipstick trend, this isn't a metallic lipstick, but it definitely has a little bit of zhuzh to it. So I think it's going to be so beautiful for the holidays. Honestly, 
This is probably the only time of year I will ever wear lipsticks with this finish. Over the holidays, this is going to be absolutely beautiful for holiday parties, things like that. Oh my goodness, this is gonna look so gorgeous. But the glitter isn't too overpowering. It's not too crazy, honestly. They're lipsticks with iridescence to them, but it's not too crazy. It's a lot more pretty in person than it's showing. I really think she found a wearable good formula. All right, so so far with the lipsticks that I've worn for a long time, I haven't had any issues. I think with a lip liner, of course they're going to last way longer. I really wanna pay attention to more to how the base color wears and how the glitter Glitter lays on the lips so I do want to get a few more wears out of this lipstick to really finalize my opinions on the longevity but so far I'm not mad at it but I will update you guys down below in the description box so stay tuned for that I just want to make sure I can give you my 100% honest opinion after I've tried it a few times but so far so good it hasn't uh, wore off weird on my lips because sometimes the base color can go away and the glitter just stays on your lips and it looks weird. Haven't had that problem yet, but again, I just want to double check before I say anything. This line comes with eight colors. I only bought half of them. These I found to be the most wearable. -ish. There's also a purple, a fuchsia, kind of like a gold color, which is very interesting. I'd almost be interested in trying that just to see how it looks, but I'd never ever wear it. And a copper orange color, which is actually sold out right now, so... So anyways, I think this is a really great formula. It does everything that it claims to do. She really, I'm so impressed that she found a way to make a glitter lipstick formula. Not crazy, like wearable. I feel totally comfortable wearing this, especially for the holidays. I think a lot of people are going to like it. Pat McGrath really did it again. I'm super shocked with how much I love this formula and this packaging. She really... <laughs> Oh my goodness, the packaging. I just can't, I can't get over it. Anyways, I definitely give these lipsticks a 10 out of 10. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you found it helpful, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.